Hi guys. If you click that thumbnail, you know where you reach. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am. Oh, Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the show. Interesting day it has been today. Um, I took a poll and I didn't just take this poll on oh, on um, YouTube. Clearly, I forgot. Anyway, the results are in. Gemini, you won. So Gemini, you are first. Hello. Okay. So this video will have an intro. We're 49, 50 seconds in. I don't want to hear no stuff. Okay. It will, the, where the actual reading will start for my gems will be linked in the description below. Okay. I'm about to start my usual stuff and I'm about to talk and everything that I got to say about the poll and everything else is going to be in this intro. Okay. So if you don't want to listen to this, all of my new subscribers my new eyes and ears then again where this reading will start will be linked in the description for everybody else that know how marvelous gets down let's go first and foremost gemini's how the hell are you this is going to be your december 2018 how does bay feel about you gemini's i don't want no stuff okay i don't want no stuff out of you guys get ugly <laughs> how you guys make me laugh so much. So, let's go ahead and get through it. Um, you won. Like, I knew you guys were going to win. Like, I got some core people to be like, Taurus, da da da. Here's the order. And I wasn't going to do this because I had already done the numbers for you guys. And you know that all of the views um, and whatnot is, but you guys won. So, technically, first is last. And last is first, the way that I do it. But you know what? With these last five and the way my energy been going, I said, you know what? I'm going to let them decide. So, Gemini's, you won. And I better see it reflected in these views because I was going to save you guys for last. And we was going to have a nice little live session. But you want your video and you got it, okay? So, again, this is going to be December 2018. How does Bay feel about you for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, to all of my new subscribers, hello, hello. If you are new here, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you have subscribed to me, mwah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the likes, all of the love, all of the support. It's taken me a little bit longer to get through those, um, those comments, but you guys had me in stitches today. That damn way, which one of them? Let me look up my phone. That one video... Anybody that left me comments today, I am going to respond to you. I got nine people to come uh, to or to respond to. That Virgo video that I uploaded last night, you guys went completely ham. Ham, ham, ham. Do you hear me? Seven of you guys did not like it. Listen, this is what I'm noticing, guys. I got to say don't shoot the messenger. Energy goes both ways. For my core audience, my core people, they already know this, but I know that I'm getting, a, um, I'm growing, so I have to say this, and I apologize to anybody if it's redundant. Listen, energy goes both ways. Energy can be one thing today and be something different tomorrow. If the energies are reversed or something isn't, like, because what I'll get is, that SOB, uh, no, I'm not upset about the comment. It's just hilarious to me because you guys be going ham. Like, Virgo, see, and the Capricorns and the Virgos, and I know this Taurus video after this Gemini video finna be some crap too because Taurus got a lot of high views. Like, what is the Earth signs doing? And don't be trying to come at me in my comments about what I am. I'm going to let everybody know what I am. I'm sorry. I, I swear I'm going to start putting my placements, my top three, my, my big three, as I call it, in there. I can talk about whoever I want to talk about. <laughs> I am Cancer Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Libra Rising. My Venus and Mars is Taurus, okay? So don't tell me that I can't call Capricorn stubborn. I can say what I want. That is Marvelous's opinion. And every zodiac sign is stubborn. But I'm just telling you, 
I, I heard. No, Taurus is more stubborn. Da, da, da. You guys cracked me up. I love you guys so much, okay? So we're going to get off that. I already know that it's about to be some shit, though, because that Taurus video that I'm doing next, every time, F him, da da da, I be cracking up, but and I have to answer you guys because I want to, you know, I always want to send you off with positivity, but you don't even understand. Mar you guys be having marvelous madame crying laughing, especially when we had a conversation today in the comments, guys, about zodiacs, and I be seeing, I be like, how, how is even some of these combinations even coming together? Gemini's, you. I don't even understand. Why are you guys messing with people that ain't even compatible with y'all? Come on now. You're going to have to hit Marvelous up and let me pull these birth charts. Ladies, hit me up. You tell a, you tell a dude this. Look, I need your time. Look, what's your Venus and Mars? Y'all better start doing Zodiac sign checks. Like, I need, uh, in addition to your background check and your credit check, you better do a whole birth chart on these dudes. Same with you fellas. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you guys crack me up. I love you guys so much. And the last thing, there will be no astrology snip at with this. Um, I just, in an effort of time, <clears throat> I'm not going to um, include it, okay? And, oh, the last thing is, is thank you all for booking me for that $11 special. It was extremely popular. As a result of that, if you don't know Gemini, now you know. It is on the community tab, but I know a lot of us don't be looking at the community tab, do we? Mm -hmm. um, I, at, to say thank you for all of your support as well as Merry Christmas, have created a new special. It is not a discounted line of business that I already have. I created a weekend special, and I'm sorry, um, I am shuffling the clarifying deck. I apologize if you hear that. Um, it is a weekend special. Uh-oh. It will be linked below. It's going to entitle you guys, King of Wands. It's going to entitle you guys to a 30-minute reading for $12. It's called the Weekend Special for a reason, Gems. It's called the Weekend Special because you can only book this particular special on Saturdays and Sundays. Availability is listed. That particular um, special will be linked below at, at the very top. Um, and it's going to give you guys a 30 minute reading for $12. That's my way of saying again, thank you for all of your like shares, uh, likes, shares and, um, comments like just thank you for your support that, you know, everything that you do, you guys really, uh, Gemini's you guys were, you hold a special place in my heart as do all of the Zodiac signs, but you guys were the one that really got me um the of uh, the the exposure because the video that i posted for you guys had something astronomical on it for a small channel like me and i would get a lot of views but not overall total right but for that particular video you guys just blew it out of the i mean you blew it out of the water so thank you so much so if you tell me to do something i'm gonna do it within reason gemini's don't don't let that go to your head okay get ugly i love you guys let's go ahead and get started i think we are good hold on so this reading will be time stamped if you have made it with me this far to listen to my shenanigans thank you um let's see so book your reading um weekends um in december it expires on the 30th and of this month um, based on its, its success will determine whether I bring it back. I was going to alternate months and do some different things depending on the energy because I'm a moon child, so I work with this energy. And if my energy is low, I got to get in where I fit in. Okay? Get ugly. All right. Again, let's rock. We are at 910. This is going to be, again, how does Bay feel about you for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We're going to be examining the love energy that surrounds your partner and how they feel about you, Gemini. And I already am telling you what I've been seeing, but I'm going to wait until I explain it. Now, we're going to be pulling five cards. This is an energy reading, okay? Five cards that represent how your partner feels about you with Gilded. We're going to be clarifying those energies with Rider Waite. And the twist in my reading is then we're going to then pull Morgan Greer. Five cards that lets us know how you feel about how they feel. 
If I have to clarify with another deck, I will be using the Everyday Tarot to clarify your energy. A lot of the times I don't have to. Uh, but a lot of times your, your readings make me work, okay? We will be pulling the Romance Angel Oracle card. Um, how I've been doing them this month is I've been getting the five cards out on the board first. And then I will still timestamp when I pull the Romance Angel Oracle card. But I will pull these first, okay? We do. I do go three down at the bottom of all of the decks to talk about it to make a more or get to a more solidified message, okay? And we are going to go ahead and set me up. Boom. And let's get started, all right? Universe Spirit. Whoa. Angels and my gods. Woo! Putting in the work with the Eight of Pentacles now. I'm not taking it. You guys got the Ace of Cups. You guys got the Eight of Pentacles. You guys got a couple of fives. I've been sitting back trying to tap into your energy because I know I better wake up and this video better have a lot of views the way y'all been hunting me down for this video. Okay. My water signs. Hey, you didn't act fast enough, but you know I love you. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get Gemini out the way. The order is Gemini, Taurus. Hold on. I didn't say that, huh? The order is Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. All right. Um, I might go live for one of them. I was going to go live for you guys, but you don't hear me, though. I might just go live for Cancer then. Just saying. Or Pisces. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Sorry, it's been 11 minutes, okay? King of Wands. Show me, Spirit. How does par Gemini's partner feel about them? How does Gemini's partner, Bay, feel about them? The part, the, oh, no, too many, spirit, too many. I did see, what? See, y'all cards don't even be um, cooperating. This is a lot of energy, uh, uh, gems. Jesus, show me. Show me, spirit. Both of these, can't, okay, this is the night. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, already on the board. Oh, Capricorn energy on the board, Gemini. Oh, what? Why? Why? Show me. How does Gemini's partner feel about them? See what I'm talking about? Some of you guys. Oh, who is this person? We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the King of Wands. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Knight of Cups. We got um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Seven of Pentacles. We again got the Devil card with, that's Capricorn energy, first major. We also have the Four of Wands, more fire energy. Bottom of the deck, Gemini, we got the Page of Swords. Gemini, we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. We got the world in reverse, and we got the five of pentacles in reverse. Okay, that's what we got. We're going to come back to those energies. Let's go ahead and pull your romance angel oracle card, okay? Universe spirit, wow. Angels and my gods, go ahead and provide me with an overall love theme that represents Gemini's feelings toward Gemini, as well as a card that will provide a universal theme for the both of them, okay? Show me, spirit. Free yourself popped out, but I'm not taking it. I might take it as a bottom energy. Take back control. Two fell out at the same time. You guys are killing it. 1352, we got honeymoon. So interesting. What this four of wands? Let go of control issues. My goodness. Gemini, we got free yourself. Gemini, we got very soon. Gemini, we got codependency. Let's rock. Let me go ahead and time stamp you. First and foremost, I am feeling this, this same bipolar energy that I have been feeling about you guys as partner. Every single time I read for you guys, it is always somebody trying to control you. Every time I turn around, you guys reach out to me. You say, marvelous, this person is this, this person is that. 
Um, it's, it's always this dual energy. It's like the tale of two spreads. Okay. We got spirit telling you guys that you need to enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Some of you guys could, this could represent a marriage, but the way these cards is laying down, this don't look like nobody is getting married. This could represent an existing marriage. This can represent being in the honeymoon stage. Y'all know what that means. Um, <laughs> I don't even understand why I made that face. <laughs> Let go of control issues, spirit is saying, to allow this situation to unfold naturally. You're also being guided to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Now, I know a lot of you gems can identify with that. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now with the very soon card. And then we have some addictions, okay, with the codependency card that's been uh, affecting your romantic life. That's an understatement, right, gems? Um... Page of Swords. Before I get into this main energy, I'm letting you know right now, addictions are definitely affecting this relationship with this Capricorn energy. Somebody, somebody in your energy is feeling like you got bad habits. Now, this is somebody that you're connecting with. Don't kill the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. You're... Your partner feels like they want to control something. This is screaming tug of war. I want to do things my way. You And I want you to do things the way I want you to do things. This page could represent air children, air sign children. This page, um, so some of you guys may have uh, children with this person. Same narrative. It never changes. Okay. This particular page, there's something going on. Oh, every time I start reading, I'm itching somewhere. This is some type of communication for some of you. Whenever the page of swords shows up, the page does not have good news. Okay. The page is going to represent some type of opportunity to be truthful. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good news. The page usually comes and the page has a message. And the thing about it is, is that that message is almost always brings about some type of trial, some type of challenge. You guys have been going back and forth about a child, the way a child should be cared for, the way a child should be talked to. You guys have been going back and forth about somebody not spending enough time with their kids. You guys have been going back and forth with the person that you have this child with. Yeah. They don't like the way you do something. They're feeling like your habits is 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 affecting your parenting. Someone doesn't like the way you're parenting. Wow. Interesting. Ooh, come on, spirit. Come on. This page <clears throat> is just the tip of the iceberg, too. Okay. Then we have the fact that the Eight of Swords is in reverse. Okay. Oh. The messenger of challenges, by the way. I told you that the page is going to bring a trial or a challenge. So again, before I get into this, this eight of swords, because it's interesting. Some of you guys, your partner has been bringing a message to you of truth represented by the sword that brings forth a challenge. Some of you guys, that challenge is directly tied to a child. Some of you guys, this is just representing the fact that communication is completely bad. You do not like the way this person talks to you. And you guys are just in conflict. I have, I did see a lot of fives. Some people are feeling left out in the cold. Some people lost jobs. Some people are just feeling like they don't get the support that they need from this person. Your partner is now operating in the energy of the Eight of Swords in reverse. Upright, the Eight of Swords is talking about being restricted and fearful. 
They're no longer afraid. They're no longer afraid possibly to deliver a truth. They're no longer afraid to say something to you. They're no longer afraid to move forward with an idea that once restricted them. However, cycles are being blocked. The world is here in reverse. The reason why, and you know who else had this Virgo? Yet, this is that same damn Gemini Virgo dynamic. I am going to scream. Listen, or Gemini Earth sign person. Someone that represents um, um, stability. Somebody that, that, that could have taken care of you and the children at one point. Let go of control issues. Okay. The world is in reverse because the devil is here. Capricorn energy. This earth sign person. Um, Gemini's with Capricorns. Gemini's with Tauruses. Gemini's with Virgos. This is directly correlated with a Capricorn, but it can be any of the earth signs, obviously. Um, but it can be any, it can represent any partner. This is being bound to behaviors and thoughts and patterns that no longer serve you. They feel like this is what you do, but the re but they're operating here, although they're no longer afraid to go forth with something that was mentally disturbing them or mentally binding them to something that you guys, something that there is conflict here, Gems. I need you guys to let me know. And this is the same dynamic. This has something to do with parent, uh, uh, children, child support, um, um, relationships with children, Multiple baby mamas make baby daddies. Y'all better talk about it. I'm feeling it all. I'm trying to get it out. It's coming. This is letting feeling left out in the cold. But somebody could have lost a job or you could be this page of sorts could have brought about the loss of the job with the five of pentacles, but it is now in reverse. So your partner is definitely could have experienced um, some type of loss um, or it could be you either or but this is their energy so i need to get through the, the spread i will say to you that the fact that they're operating and they're no longer mentally restricted so hopefully they can get out of the eight of swords but it's a low vibrational eight of swords upright i feel i feel like um whatever this was and how the reason why somebody is operating or the reason why you guys feel stuck is because of the world. There are no lessons being learned in this relationship. And as a result of that, it's stuck. No one is moving forward. Either you or your partner, Jim. Or somebody is trying to spearhead this. And say, hey, I don't want to operate like this anymore. And someone is so bound to this devil. And the thoughts and patterns and, and, and processes and behaviors. That no longer, that, that just does not serve anybody it, I mean, it doesn't serve either one of you guys. It's not serving the children. It's not serving the situation. There's no communication. This is what this is. Now, let me tell you about the part that makes this crazy. We got the King of Wands here, so we got this Fire King. This Fire King is passionate. But see, let me, let me just explain something about uh, the homie right here. Okay, so look at him. You see how cocky he is? This is the reason why you guys have a problem because someone is so controlling. This fire king kind of just goes off the damn beaten path, does things when he feels like it. He is definitely charming. He's bold and forceful. He can be domineering and that's the problem. That's the problem. That causes some problems. We got the Knight of Cups. This is a change, change in motion. Yielding this cup. Remember, when we go from a page, that's the message of love, cups. Then we advance from the page to the night. I'm going to drive this cup home to you and tell you this, that, and the third. But remember, that's not king. So a lot of this, a lot of you guys are arguing over uh, uh, um, uh, not... Someone feels like someone isn't expressing their emotions. Let go of control issues. And they feel like that's you, Gemini. They feel like they've invested in this relationship. They've given you everything that you need at one point. They, they love you. 
they're passionate about you and they have planted seeds and waited for things to uh, blossom with the seven of pentacles. But no matter what they do, they're feeling like you guys can't get on the good foot with this damn devil. And um, as a result of you, they feel like you are disturbing the happy home with the four of wands. And you are the reason why you guys can't get back here. Now, for some of you guys, these two cards represent marriage. So your partner feels all of this right here, but you're married. For others of you, this honeymoon just represents the happiness between two people, honeymoon stage, or just having fun. Holiday bliss, you guys are fighting and humbugging because it's the holiday time. Some shit could have kicked off during the uh, Thanksgiving um, holiday, and it's going to go, it's going to be even worse um, in um, the Christmas season because of this damn devil being here, okay? I'm going to clarify this, but... This represents the marriage for some of y'all. This represents just um, the a long term relationship where you guys are, you know, your 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 hubs and I'm wifey that type of stuff. Um, there's a lot of control in this union. They're feeling like you're controlling. That's what they're feeling like. This is their and 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 spirit is calling for someone to free themselves very soon. And codependency. Let's not forget that. Okay. Let's go ahead and start clarifying this. I will tell you. I did pick up on those five. I don't know. Gemini. I'm feeling like this is that same old energy. Like I said. All of the zodiacs are here. The first major that's right here is the devil. We don't have any other majors in their energy. Now we're going to go ahead and clarify it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we do. We have the world in reverse. Cycles are being blocked. That's the reason why this situation will not come to some type of conclusion. That's the reason why there is no working together. Because every single time you guys take two steps forward, you take two steps right back. It's always something. Gemini, I know from past, and we'll pause that for a second. I know from reading you in the past and from connecting with some of you guys in the personal readings, this person is a person that you got a, a kid with. Let me get some, some stuff lit here. And or kids or something. There's been some type of job loss. There's been some type of job loss. Um on both ends, this could have been you. This could have affected your 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 person. And I feel like when that happened, hell broke loose. There was a loss of income, possibly. First of all, you guys are dealing with one another, but I don't feel like there's true happiness somewhere. I feel as if. Hold on. I feel, sorry guys, I feel as if someone isn't happy. I feel like, and when I say not happy, I mean the situation is a situation that everyone goes through from a standpoint where the, the, the relationship is breaking down or has broken down. There's, there's been an attempt to move on and now you're together for the kids or this is one of those blah 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 type relationships where you're kind of still together because it's happy i don't feel like an abundance of love i from from gemini's energy if that makes sense i do feel however that this person kind of holds i love you over the head they feel like that because they've been the ones that's been po possibly um handling things financially um they really just have a problem with the way you're doing things i feel like that's what this is okay clarify this king of wands for me and gemini's partner's energy why is king of wands here spirit king of wands is here right there it always comes out the single lady card the single person card they feel as if they have to step up and be bold and feel the need to call you out on your shit, Gemini, because they feel like you are too wrapped up in yourself. They, I told you guys that it felt like somebody was feeling like somebody wasn't doing something right. If this doesn't have anything to do with kids, it can be cooking, going out too much, whatever 
traits are represented in this devil energy. Okay? They feel like that's what you're doing. Okay? That's what they feel like. It could be them feeling like you just don't spend enough time with them. Clarify this Knight of Cups. They, they hold this love. They hold something that they've done for you over your head. They won't let you forget about it. All right. Yeah. Knight of Cups. Well, <laughs> somebody feels left out in the damn cold, yet the person won't leave. Two cups remain, three cups spill over. Someone is feeling left out in the cold and betrayed. That's not the pentacle card, but that is feeling either betrayed, guilty, hurt feelings. And then this also popped out the nine of swords. So this knight of cups, like I said, this is this didn't feel like it was an abundance of love. This felt like it was a relationship that has run its course. And there is no letting go. No one with this devil card, you're not letting each other go or they're not letting you go. But they feel like you're, you're holding on to your habits. Again, we do have codependency. Okay. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Yep. This is the burden. The person, your person feels like they've held you down and they've done more in this relationship for the kid, for the house, for the this, for the that than you have, Gemini. They feel like you have not pulled your weight. They feel like they planted seeds and you haven't done anything. This is how they feel. And, and it's a huge burden for them. And this is why some, some oh, okay. That tried to pop out. The two of cups just tried to pop out. Okay. Okay. All right. The seven of wands popped out. My goodness. Okay, spirit. They feel like they, they've done the heavy lifting. They planted the seeds. Okay. Um, and as a result of that, they're going back in to reassess things. They feel like your behavior and your lack thereof, Gemini, causes a burden for them. There's not enough. I don't know. I'm, I'm just getting this strong feeling like they have a problem with the way you do things. I don't know why. And there's this codependent toxic type of relationship that just goes round and round and round with the world being in reverse. Nothing. I, see? Conflict. That's clarifying the devil. This is a bunch of conflict. That is what is just constant. Okay? Ooh, Gemini. I cannot wait. To find out how you feel. Clarify this damn four wands. This is about. <sighs> Look at this. The ten of swords. Alright. So we got two tens. Listen. Because this is in reverse. There, I wouldn't be surprised if the, if the tower. Mo the tower didn't pop out. But there's going to be a tower moment. I'm feeling like, or the tower moment already happened, or you guys keep experiencing tower moments every single month because, again, there's no growth. This is a constant cycle. This four of wands, where a person was once happy, I feel like this clarifying that shows that it's a burden. And I don't feel like, I, I, I feel like they feel like with the 10, oh, that's, was that, hope? Hold, hold on. That's eight again? Okay, sorry, that's not 10. I can't count tonight. Hey, it's eight. So, I got this bipolar type energy last night in Virgo's reading, I think. Sorry, clearly I can't count. Okay, so the eight of swords, fearful to move forward which 
it would have my, my thought pattern and process is the same on this i have to hurry up because i'm already i'm over um because you guys continue to keep going through these toxic cycles there's no growth and movement the, the feelings that they once had, and they still do go back and forth. Some of you guys can be connecting with um, another, a, a fellow uh, sword, a fellow sword, a fellow air sign as well. This goes back and forth, but there's no growth. When you go back and forth, you continue to do the same thing over and over again. Sagittarius energy is here, the temperance and reverse. There is no learning. There is no abundance. There is no... Moving forward with this queen of pence being in reverse. All of these energies are here, but no one seems to want to, again, this is how they feel about you. No one, and energies can go both ways. Don't say no is in reverse. Just let me know what the situation is because energy does that. But there, it seems like once you take two steps towards you, take two steps back because someone isn't learning. The communication is bad. Feelings are getting hurt. But you guys are bound. This four of wands to me means that the situation was once happy and blissful. Uh, again, some of you guys, there's a marriage. Some of you guys, you've just been in a long-term relationship where children was involved. And I feel as if... There has been a complete breakdown in emotions and communication and no one wants to budge for whatever their reason is. And everybody goes into their respective corners and pouts. No one wants to walk away. This is how they feel about you. So maybe, so, so all of this great energy that can heal this situation if someone will walk away and, and no one wants to do it. You, I mean, I don't understand why. And actually, yeah, I do understand why. Because of the control issues. There is a need for control all the time. And I think it's just because there's been a parting of ways. Although, I feel like that set, that Six of Swords is moving on from the, 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 the very things that keep you bound in this energy, this devil energy. I feel like although that represents, um, it could definitely represent a, a situation being a C. Same, it's, this is the 10. This is how you feel. This is actually the 10 of Wands. You've had it. You. This is your burden, Gemini. You have just about had it. Um, see, I feel that King just tried to come back out. What I was saying was, is I feel like it, basically there is no growth. There's no movement and you're going to continue to repeat the exact same toxic, toxic cycles until someone changes the cycle. There is no movement, but the, the, the energy is here, but it's very low vibrational with this devil. This devil needs to, needs to become over. Uh, you, you need to over overturn the devil. The devil does not bound you to him. It's a choice to stay stuck to the devil. You're not married to that devil. Okay, Gemini, you want balance with the Six of Pentacles. You want balance, but that's also the lack card. You can either do with or you can do without. And that's basically how you feel. I can balance the scales. Okay, fine. Either we do or we don't. We will or we won't. I don't understand what else you want me to do. And that is where you guys are with this damn ton of wands. You've just about had it. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, yet again, all up in your reading, okay? This is you trying to be bold and have the foresight. Planning ahead, looking ahead, and trying to really be bold and be original. Have some personal power. Free yourself, okay? This is what you are focused on. And if you, if, and, and again, if they feel like they can't understand that, then you don't have anything to do with that, see? You guys are mirroring each other. You're both afraid. I feel like although you want this, um, you're really in your head trying to figure out where to go with this and how to move forward. Um, I feel like you're just as fearful as they are. There is something that's keeping you guys bound in this devil energy, and I don't understand it. Oh, my God. And so you are the happy hermit again, and this is welcome energy for you again. Virgo energy. Some of this is a Gemini. 
I feel like this is a strong Gemini earth sign reading. If it does not resonate, let it skate, guys. But I'm feeling like this can represent anybody, but there is strong fire. The only cup card I got out on the entire spread, oh, yes, was the, uh, the Knight of uh, Cups. Hold on. Your energy, the devil. What? Gemini. The same damn, uh, this is the, set, the eight of pentacles. They got the seven, you got the eight. Willing to put in the work, but on yourself. I don't feel like you're willing to put in the work for this situation. I feel like that could represent, honestly, the other meaning of the card where you guys are working on yourself. This is the same damn page of swords, but yours is in reverse. So you guys are doing this to one another. There's upright. Yours is in reverse. Whoo, baby. This is what it is. This definitely involves children and bad habits. Out of all of these cards, I don't see anything about love other than this night. And that's a burden. I feel like somebody really feels like it's a burden to love somebody else. What? I don't understand. Listen, I am at a loss. This is what, this is how they feel. And then look how you feel. You got all the same damn cards. And you're the happy hermit. Welcome energy for you. Because you can unplug. You like, whatever. It's either we, we do or we don't. We will or we won't. It's your energy, Gemini. I don't have to clarify this. This speaks for itself. You are tired. Listen. You guys are mirroring the hell out of one another. And one thing is for sure. Both of you guys are breaking down and restricted. Don't take this Eight of Swords wrong. It can mean so many things. But I know one thing. This is how both of you guys are feeling. Now you get ugly. Both of you. Blindfold. <laughs> KC wrapped up in the corner somewhere, blindfold surround, just suspended in the air. And you okay with that? All right. But it's too much. Remember, this five of wands clarified this devil. This is this, this. you guys forever make me speechless. I don't even know what else to say. What? Jesus, take the wheel. Gemini, you guys better let me know what's going on. I got to get out of here. This has been your reading. And it better get better. I told y'all at the beginning I ain't want no shit. Now I'm going to do Taurus. This, I already know what's about to happen. I got the, I, where's my sage? Okay. And bonke. Okay. That has been your reading. Gemini, I certainly hope it resonated. Who Jesus, like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I really can't believe I see this. The devil. I'm both looking for both of you guys. Got the devil. I'm so. Uh, this was one of them drop the mic moments. I just did not think that devil was going to come out. I'm going to leave you with that. You know what your devil is. I said this in both of you guys' energy. Don't get in them comments talking about, uh uh, marvelous. Uh uh, it's him. And da da uh uh. I want to see some truth. You know what, marvelous? you right. I'm mirroring him because he's a such and such. You know what, marvelous? you right. I'm doing this to her because she's blah, blah, blah. Okay. But you better take responsibility because the honeymoon phase is over. Let go of them control issues. Free yourself. Decide what you want so it can come very soon to you. And this is probably the biggest problem within that devil energy, this codependency. That has been your reading. I'm going to get out of here because I could talk to you guys all night. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe is always a pleasure. I certainly hope it resonated. Book your $12 reading down below. And I'll see you guys here next week as we examine the love energy that surrounds you for the top of the month. Bye, Gemini.